The agreement is a step to closing a difficult chapter in Afghanistan's history. Hezbi Islami is considered one of the most violent Afghan groups that's been fighting since the Soviet era. The deal gives its members amnesty and allows its leader to come back to Kabul after two decades. His signing and speech were recorded. A message to the Taliban. Fighting isn't an option to bring peace. Trust the Afghan process of peace and bring your conditions forward. I'm hopeful an agreement with the Taliban will be reached. Taliban fighters have made significant gains this year. They control 10 percent of the country and contest about a quarter of it. ISIL is also trying to get a foothold here. Two years into the national unity government, the chief executive says instability remains a problem. The path forward uh, for anybody about the future of the country is not to use violence or use uh, terrorism uh, or terrorist groups as allies against your own people. Uh, and then being hopeful that one day uh, you will uh, you will uh, you will rule uh, over the country. What are the biggest challenges Afghanistan faces now? The uh, uh, economic situation, unemployment, poverty, all of these are uh, challenges like every other third world countries. But in our situation, uh, insecurity and instability has made it more complex. Poverty is widespread, especially in rural areas. The government has launched job creation programs, improved exports of Afghan fruits, and says it's working to improve access to electricity. It's also trying to build stronger ties in the region, saying Afghanistan can find peace and prosperity only if its neighbors work with it. But economically, there's still much to do. Our people will continue to have hard times in the coming years before we, we will be able to uh, to, to, to benefit from the uh, transit location of Afghanistan as it is in regional economic cooperation as well as uh, uh, investment in the, uh, in the natural resources of Afghanistan uh, or agriculture. The country's relationship with Pakistan is strained. Every day thousands of Afghans in Pakistan are being pressured to leave. The UN estimates that number could reach a million by the end of the year. The relationship between Chief Executive Abdullah and President Ghani has also been tense in recent weeks. The two have set aside their differences ahead of a donor conference in Brussels next week. After that, Abdullah says discussions will continue on how the two leaders can repair the rift between them and best serve the people of Afghanistan. Jennifer Glass, Al Jazeera, Kabul.